Kan Shalom, op prijs is toe jou, baas, om jou, shai, baas, no kakadash. Door bij ons studie, apostels en elders, a great millstone and salutations to the hopeful electors pushing his truth for sincerity. So as we are looking around, you see all these, um, these uh, strange and weird things taking place on this earth. Um, the United States uh, of America has been ex exposed for the blowing up of the Nord Stream pipeline. Um, I actually made this fit. Um, in this fit, I show I show the the COVID operation that took down the Nord Stream pipeline by uh, by Greg Rees. In this in this fit is actually being shown and being exposed by uh, a Seymour Hersh. Also, how America was behind it together with Norway took down the Nord Stream pipeline. So. A lot of people, you know, a lot of officials, China, Russia, Germany, they demand answers. They want answers uh, for doing this, the reason of this. This is a terroristic act. It is an, a destruction or attack towards their own allies. So they demand answers, you know, as they demand answers. And the focus should be upon uh, the USA for, for this, this criminal uh, terroristic atrocity. All of a sudden, you see, first it started with the space uh, balloon uh, 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 spying out of the United States, so-called. Uh, uh, they, they, they're questioning if they need to blow it down. Then they came with the unidentified flying objects, which they blew out of the sky. And then you had China also came out with uh, um, taking down so-called a UFO unidentified flying object um, and now now you see this whole situation uh, the train derailments uh, um, many train derailments you know I made I made I showed an article they found they find a, a pipe bomb on the railways uh, somewhere behind some some church in Philadelphia, so all all kind of all kind of distraction, because that's how I see it. It is a distraction. It's engineered uh, distraction, and serious serious damage is being caused onto people to focus on totally other things instead of the answers that needs to be given by the by America for this horrible atrocity that has been committed now the focus is no longer on the Nord Stream pipeline America being exposed the total focus is right now on Ohio on the people being exposed onto uh, a hazardous chemical being spread uh, uh, leaked in the water the drinking water being everything being contaminated fishes birds uh, 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 everything is dying frogs everything is dying and the focus is right now on Ohio. So I saw, let me see, bear with me with this one. You had this thing, a one dead, several injured as explosion at the US metal factory triggers, barrage a sharpen, what is it? Shrapnel or shrapnel, however you pronounce it. Check this out. I looked over and it was just boom and then I got I got a little bit of footage on my phone but I don't know how good it is. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I don't know nothing hit me. Nothing hit me. This guy over here, he got his car hit. Nothing hit me except a little bit of shrapnel on top of the hood. Ridiculous.
for the ones who might think, well, it's a coincidence, there's no such thing as a coincidence. All taking place in Ohio. As I was watching this, it made me think of the old school cartoon that I used to watch back in the days. You know, it's called What's With Andy. Like, let me just show you a small piece from it. Because it came to my mind as I was sitting and watching and looking at Ohio. I was thinking like, what the hell is going on in Ohio? But then as I was, you know, watching this clip, rethinking about past, about my childhood, about this fun school, being a prankster at school myself, all these things came into my mind. The United States being exposed for being behind the terroristic act of the blowing up of the Nord Stream pipeline. China demands answers. Russia, Germany demands answers. All of a sudden, the focus is on some spy balloon, UFOs being blown out of the sky. Now you got trains, uh, uh, three trains derailing in, uh, um, in America. All type of chemicals being spread all over all over in the land on the ground in the drinking water everything being contaminated you got factories blowing up like this is crazy whoa, whoa, what's with andy what, what, what's with andy whoa, whoa, what's with andy what, what, what's with andy like what what the hell is going on with ohio what is going on that was truly on my mind like what is going on we know what is going on. This is these are the distractions of the wicked. And I want to show you I want to show you the dangers of inhaling a burned plastic plastic particles because they they spoke about thousands of plastic parts burnt up. The smoke that goes up exists out of burned plastic particles that goes up. You inhale this. When you inhale this, that is not going to be beneficial for your for your health. It says health concerns of plastic fumes. In general, inhalation of plastic fumes can lead to the increased risk of heart disease, respiratory side effects such as aggravated asthma, skin irritation, headache, nervous system damage, and other organs damage such as the kidney, liver, and reproductive system. This is right now being caused onto the people on top of the, the 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 chemicals that have been spreading over there that are in the drinking water but i saw not something else like check this out um what is this a massive fire burns thousands of pots um let me see was this was the one oh this was the one slag this was the one where it spoke about how all all those plastic pots got burned check this out man this is crazy. So this one, the first one, the one that I showed over here, this one was concerning a metal factory. And this metal factory was also in Ohio. Which if you burned, like, let's see, man. Metal factory burned. Uh... Burning fumes dangerous, metal fume fever. Are they call it they speaking about the metal are metal fumes dangerous? Okay, let's check it out. Prolonged exposure to a uh, welding fume may cause lung damage and various types of cancer, including lung, larynx, and urinary tract. This all by the way of being exposed onto metal fumes. And just look at how just look at how humongous it is, man. Don't underestimate these things, man. They may they may speak as if it is not that it's hazardous, like oh it's it's we got things under control. Don't worry. Like how they spoke about like how they spoke about that other thing that was spinning over there, that final uh, uh, chloride. And then you had this thing. This thing was actually linked onto this was in uh this was in Kiss Me fire this morning that scorched thousands of pots at a plant nursery supply store in Osceola Crazy. County. It's a story we've been following breaking since this morning when those flames broke out at the store north of Poinciana High School near Kissimmee. News 6 says Carolina Cardona joins us live near that scene now. Do we know of any injuries, Carolina? 
Bridget, fortunately, everyone had been evacuated when that fire broke out at this hour. The latest information that we have is that the fire is now under control and contained, although fire crews remain on scene spraying water over that that what still you can see is smoke right there in your uh, TVs right now. But we are told that it took about 75 firefighters to put out this fire that broke out around 2 o'clock this morning. You can see the magnitude of the flames that ripped through the Nursery Supplies, Inc., which is located on Avenue A in Osceola County. Osceola Fire Rescue officials say at least two acres of pallets holding thousands of plastic pots caught fire. Within the last hour, Osceola County Fire Rescue uh, shared new footage of the fire and showed the aftermath of what's left you can see hundreds burned out plastic of plastic pots. This facility specializes in the distribution of those types of plastic supplies. Sky 6 was over the scene earlier today, just before noon. We're told 21 vehicles, including fire engines, responded to the scene. Hazmat crews remain here monitoring the quality of the air. So far, the communications director for Osceola County Fire Rescue tells us that no further evacuations have been ordered for surrounding areas. Fortunately, no injuries of firefighters or civilians have been reported. Live in Osceola County, Carolina. 75 firefighters was needed to, to, to get this fire under control. That is insane. You know, so all these things are taking place right now and, and the main focus, as expectable, is right now on Ohio. And there's a wind, a storm being expected, so all those particles, all those all those chemicals are right now spreading are gonna extremely uh, spread all over there. More people will get sick. People demand answers and um, the officials or the ones appointed are avoiding, uh, um, running away, keeping people in, in a state of uh, getting no answers, being in anger, and yet being exposed onto all this on, onto all this poison, man. So the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 25, let thine eyes be, let thine eyes look right on, and let thy eyelids look straight before thee. Which means we, we are focused on... Uh, uh, what is taking place and what is important so i'm not saying that what is taking place over there in ohio is not important we understand it's about understanding what is taking place and understanding how these rulers these evil wicked doers are moving on this earth why this situation is taking place and why they want you to focus on merely this thing because they're trying to avoid being more exposed about the terroristic act they rather cause more destruction upon people, more, more, a more grievous situation um, for the people themselves in America instead of confronting and facing uh, uh, what they have done and um, actually being exposed, you know. They don't want that. So the book of um, the book of Second Ezra chapter 9 verse, uh, <coughs> verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars in the people of the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So we understand very well that these are the last days. And in the last days, a lot of things will take place. A lot of destruction, a lot of distraction, a lot of, uh, um, a lot of people will be falling victim to uh, uh, um, the, the schemes of the, the ones that are in rulership. You also will see all type of extreme earthquakes, man. For example, look at what is taking place in Turkey, in Syria, and other parts of this world earthquakes are, are smiting and hitting people and a lot of people losing their life you got a lot of uproars people are dem demonstrating if you're looking at Suriname right now people are fed up dealing with all the hyperinflation dealing with all the pain and agony no longer being capable of uh, paying for the basic needs so people are demonstrating people are fed up people become uh, uh, fenderless you know so 
people are fed up because of the oppression man the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 6 let no man deceive you with vain words for because of these things come the wrath of the most high upon the children of disobedience don't get tricked by the things that they say you see the horrible things taking place of course but what they what their true intent is they want to put your focus from the fact that they have been exposed for their terroristic act it was a covert operation a secret operation together with uh, uh the america uh, the united states worked together with with norway and it was a covert operation what is a covert operation it is a it is a operation which they execute but they don't want uh the public to know who was behind it so they they operate in secret and they 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 make sure that any trace that could lead to them is deleted but they didn't delete their works completely because you also have insiders people that are aware of what has taken place people that expose things whistleblowers and they have been exposed by whistleblowers their own people that are insiders that know what took place and that are not in agreement with this evil wicked terroristic atrocity they exposed america and america doesn't want to uh, answer up for this wicked crime so what is it that they rather do they rather create other problems so that the people will focus on those problems and so that they don't have to face uh, uh giving answers about their terroristic act that is how america is moving and that's the spirit of Esau edom the book of prophets chapter 19 verse 12 the king's wrath is as a roaring lion the king of this world is talking about the ruler and Esau edom is the ruling right now on this earth the ruler the king is being exposed and the king has a lot of power because the king is blessed with the sword. The sword is talking about the modern day weapon. That is Esau's blessing. So Esau is being blessed with the sword. He has power. He is in a position of power. When he is being exposed, he doesn't want to get exposed. And he doesn't want to answer up for, for the crimes that he has committed and that people know about their wicked schemes and their wicked ways upon this earth. So this wicked ruler is moving as a line causing more problem other problems other things on this earth where the people will look upon that is how grievous they are but his favor is as due upon the grass but the favor of a king is as due upon the grass this is in the book of Sirach chapter 8 verse 1 strive not with a mighty man lest thou fall into his hands be not at variance with a rich man lest he overweight thee it says for gold that destroyed many and perverted the hearts of kings um i believe it is in verse 10 kindle not the coals of a sinner and how do you kindle the coals of a sinner by exposing them by shining light on the actions that they that they commit in the dark that is that is what kindles fire that makes them furious and a furious man will do whatever it takes to 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 stop you from being a hinder that is the mind of Esau he is trying to make sure that people don't ask or that people don't focus on things that might put himself more in jeopardy it says lest thou be burned with the flame of his fire by the flame of his fury by his wicked ways by by showing you how far they are willing to go to make sure that they, the focus is not upon them. That is how America operates. Or even if they get the focus upon them, the focus needs to be upon them for a whole other reason. You know? For a reason which might be perceived less uh, 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 dangerous and less serious instead of the fact of blowing up the Nord Stream pipeline. You blowing, you've been responsible for, for the destruction of a humongous amount of people here in Europe. You're, you're you're responsible for the terroristic act towards your own allies. This is this is next level next level madness, man. You know. So, boom. Oh, that was already it. You know. So this is what I quickly wanted to bring out, man. And I'm not gonna make it too long. Fit. I just looked at it and I was like, Esau is truly busy on some some sneaky. Uh, distraction type of behavior because he is being exposed but guess what all the things that he's doing like in the book of Luke all the things that they do in the dark will come to light because there are men and women 
well aware of what is taking place in their report and they shine light upon these things so that the people get understanding about what truly is taking place. The book of Luke chapter 12 verse 2. For there is nothing covert that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be made known. Everything is being exposed on this earth today. Everything that Esau does in the dark is being exposed. Everything which they, which they scheme and execute and hope that people don't understand, there are people that understand. M many people may not understand. Many people may think like when we say these things, we are those those loonies or how they call it, tin foil hatch. You got to beware those things. You got people as well who may think and perceive us in that way. But there are many people waking up and understanding and looking at things and starting to question and understand that this is no coincidence. All those train derailments, all those factories blowing up, all, all, these, all these things which shortly uh, uh, after the exposure of America continually keep popping up, keep popping up and demanding, demanding your focus upon those things instead of America needs to answer according to what they have done onto Germany. They blew up the Nord Stream pipeline. It still stands and they still need to answer. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yashai Shalom.